Coverdale Bible, the fourth book of Moses, called Numerus. What this book containeth, chapter 6. The law and ordinance concerning the Nazarees or abstainers, the blessing of the Israelites. The sixth chapter. And the Lord talked with Moses and said, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man or woman separateth themselves to vow a vow of abstinence unto the Lord, he shall abstain from wine and strong drink. Vinegar of wine and of strong drink shall he not drink, nor that is pressed out of grapes, he shall neither eat fresh nor dry grapes, so long as his abstinence endureth. Moreover, he shall eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the wine kernels unto the hull. As long as the vow of his abstinence endureth, there shall no razor come upon his head, till the time be out which he abstaineth unto the Lord, for he is holy. And he shall let the hair of his head grow, and stand bare openly, all the time over that he abstaineth unto the Lord, shall he go to no dead. Neither shall he defile himself at the death of his father, of his mother, of his brother, or of his sister. For the abstinence of his God is upon his head, and the whole time of his abstinence shall he be holy unto the Lord. And if it chance any man to die suddenly before him, then shall the head of his abstinence be defiled. Therefore shall he shave his head in the day of his cleansing, that is upon the seventh day, and upon the eighth day shall he bring two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, unto the priest before the door of the tabernacle of witness. And the priest shall make the one a sin offering, and the other a burnt offering, and make an atonement for him, because he defiled himself upon the dead, and so shall he hallow his head the same day, that he may hold out the time of his abstinence unto the Lord. And he shall bring a lamb of a year old for a trespass offering. But the days afore shall be but lost, because his abstinence was defiled. This is the law of the abstainer. When the time of his abstinence is out, he shall be brought before the door of the tabernacle of witness, and he shall bring his offering unto the Lord, even an he lamb of a year old, without blemish, for a burnt offering, and a she lamb of a year old, without blemish, for a sin offering, and a ram without blemish, for an health offering, and a mound with unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, and sweet wafers anointed with oil, and their meat offerings and drink offerings. And the priest shall bring it before the Lord, and shall make his sin offering and his burnt offering. And the ram shall he make an health offering unto the Lord, with the mound of the unleavened bread. His meat offering and drink offering shall he make also. And he shall shave the head of the abstainer's abstinence before the door of the tabernacle of witness, and shall take the head hair of his abstinence and cast it upon the fire, that is under the health offering. And the sodden shoulder of the ram shall he take, and an unleavened cake 
out of the mound, and a sweet wafer, and lay them upon the hands of the abstainer. After that he hath shaven off his abstinence, and he shall wave them before the Lord. This is holy for the priest with the wave breast and heave shoulder. After that, may the abstainer drink wine. This is the law of the abstainer, which voweth his offering unto the Lord for his abstinence, besides that which his hand can get. As he hath vowed, so shall he do according to the law of his abstinence. And the Lord talked with Moses, and said, Speak unto Aaron and his sons, and say, Thus shall ye say unto the children of Israel, when ye bless them, The Lord bless thee, and keep thee, the Lord make his face to shine upon thee, and be merciful unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. For they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, that I may bless them. <laughs>